I recently got another email from a Christian who wants to know about what he should do in regards to the tattoos that he had put on as a lost man. And many times when someone sees tattoos on a man's body, he assumes that this man doesn't have morals or that he lives for the flesh. Now, I myself personally, I don't judge a man by seeing tattoos because you have to realize a few things that at one time we were all living for the flesh. And tattoos are just one of those things that carry over with you into your safe life. I mean, because your flesh doesn't change. Your flesh does not get born again. In Ephesians 2, 2, it says, Where in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh, and all the children of disobedience. In time past, we all walked according to the course of this world. And imagine if the sins of your past life were somehow on your body in such a way that people could see you and judge you by those old skeletons in your closet. And imagine if any of the sins you committed were somehow on a way, in a way on your body where people could see them. I don't have any tattoos, but I did a lot worse things as a lost person than simply getting a tattoo. There's much worse things. I'm just blessed in that you can't see my skeletons from the past like you can a tattoo. You must realize these things when approaching this topic. Also, some Christians have gotten out of fellowship and went back to living for the flesh. They could have picked up some tattoos then, even some, some filthy tattoos. There are also some Christians who don't see anything wrong with getting a tattoo, so they might get a tattoo of their children's name or something like that. Or maybe they've never even heard about the issue that it would be wrong for them to do something. Now, under the Old Testament law, you weren't allowed to put marks on your body. In Leviticus 19, 27 through 28, it says, You shall not round the corners of your beards, neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Now, see, in verse 27, they weren't even supposed to cut their hair. It says, You shall not round the corners of your heads. Neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. So we don't, you know, that's something different than what we got going on today. I mean, it's not wrong for you to cut your beard today. And then the very next verse says not to put marks upon you. So you see, some things are different in the New Testament. So we can't just take this and say, well, a person shouldn't get a tattoo today by reading Leviticus 19.28. Because under Old Testament law, you couldn't do a lot of things that we do today, or you can do things today that you couldn't do back then. For example, you couldn't just eat anything you wanted back then. Today, you can eat any animal as long as you can give thanks for it. And I believe the greatest New Testament principle that would cause a Christian to believe he shouldn't get a tattoo is in 1 Thessalonians 5.22, which says, Abstain from all appearance of evil. Or in 1 Corinthians 6.19 where it says our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. The reason I personally have convictions against getting a tattoo myself is there are so many people who would use that against me. People are looking for reasons not to listen to you to, when it comes to giving the gospel. They would use that if they could. But I mean, if, if I see a Christian get a tattoo, or if I see a Christian with a tattoo, I really don't even look into it or think anything about it. I honestly really don't. And so what should a Christian do who already has tattoos? Just keep going. You're not living in a permanent state of sin because of having a tattoo. I don't believe that God expects you to have a doctor to get one of those expensive erasers and remove them. If someone wants to judge you because of your tattoos, just remember that they have probably done worse things. And if it was colored on their body, we probably wouldn't even want to be in the sh same room with that person. The Christian who asked this question asked if he should just black them all out with, a, with another tattoo. I personally wouldn't even fool with that either. Uh, Danny Castle talked one time about a guy who uh, had naked women tattooed on his arm and he just got some clothes tattooed on them. I thought that was pretty funny. 
I mean, if, if they are really bad and you're ashamed to the point that it hinders you, then you need to just maybe wear clothes to cover them or something. And since you have tattoos, you might even be able to reach people that the average Christian couldn't reach. And you can use your past and not let it go to waste. You may have bad things in your past, but God can use them for good. Just like in Genesis 50 and verse 20, But as for you, you thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good, to bring to pass as it is this day to save much people alive. You know, God uses your past, even just your hobbies in your past. God called Peter, who was a fisherman, to become a fisher of men. The evangelist David Spurgeon was in a biker gang, and now he gives his testimony about his past and how God changed his life. God can use the marks and scars from your past life to help get someone else out of the things that you once did. Now, as a Christian, you can get marks on you from spiritual warfare. You got marks on you from the past life. The way of the transgressor is hard. And now, as a Christian, make new marks. Marks for the Lord Jesus Christ in Galatians six seventeen. From henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Second Corinthians eleven twenty four and twenty five. Of the Jews, five times received I forty stripes, save one. Thrice was I beaten with rods. Once was I stoned. Thrice I suffered shipwreck. A night and a day I've been in the deep. Now you might not be getting whipped and stoned like Paul to get marks in your body for the Lord. But the work of the Lord will leave a mark on you. Maybe you're just reading so many chapters a day and studying so much that your eyes are growing dim in your old age. Maybe you're getting a, a bit by a dog on the way to witness to someone at their home. And that will leave a mark. I mean, it happened to my pastor. A dog just came up right behind him and he just felt blood running down his leg. And the way things are going in this country, it isn't far-fetched to say that we won't see some persecution and really get some marks. You know, Paul said, All that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. So my best advice on this subject is to not let tattoos that you may have gotten in the past hinder you or stop you from doing the work of God. If they do hinder you, then just try to cover them up. But God sees your heart, even though man looks on the outward appearance. And you may be able to <clears throat> reach people that you wouldn't have if you didn't have those tattoos. You know, I know, I know plenty of preachers that have tattoos on their arm, even on their hands. And I mean, I, that's never stopped me from listening to their message or made me think that they were living ungodly. You know, you don't want to be so quick to judge someone based on tattoos. You don't know when they got them. You don't know how their life was going at the time that they got those tattoos. And if people could see the sins of our past life, if they were written on us, that would be, that would be scary. I would hate for somebody to see the sins of my past life written all over me. I was just blessed and that I didn't get a tattoo but I, I mean I, I would rather have gotten a tattoo than some of the things I've done in my life but I hope this helps and just don't be uh, discouraged by your tattoos don't let that uh, stop you from doing the work of God or anything like that